Now we're saying hello to Paul Stone <laughs> at BBC Radio Leeds. Good morning, Paul. Morning, Wes. How are you? That was so cheesy. <laughs> no I didn't have time, though, to prepare the introduction for that because you brought in donuts. Thank you very much for bringing in donuts. And I've just wolfed one. Di- I realised, like, 30 seconds before that was en- uh, finishing, my God, I've got a donut. I've covered in donut. Anyway, Down how are one. you? Very well, yourself? Good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, not so bad. Lead singer Paul Stone is with us now, best known for his cover versions of well-known modern songs, all done with that big band swing style, and his debut album, Reprise of Swing, has been doing really, really well. And he's uh, come in to tell us more about what he's been up to recently, because it has been a really busy few months for Mm. you, hasn't it? Yeah, really busy, just from kind of getting the album ready and kind of getting out there, and then things have just taken off, really, which is... Which is great. Didn't Paul O'Grady on his show on Radio Two play? Yes. Was it the lovely day lovely uh, track? Day. No, no, he, no. Actually, no. He played Sex on Fire. There's been other um, yeah. other spot plays since, but um, yeah. But let's be honest. Where's the first person that you know? The first person. Well, that, I don't eh? like to remind yeah. you of that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been great since then. It's um, you know things have really, really kicked off. Um, lots of people in contact and. And just for me and the guys, it's just a matter of getting getting what we do out there because that's why we do it. Just remind us though, how you got into singing in the first place. I mean, what was your background? Oof, violin at six, piano at nine, guitar at twelve, everything. Precocious, Irish background, yeah. Precocious just, little just child. Pretty much, yeah. Just everything. Um, I don't so much play them anymore live. It's a focus on on singing because the guys that I, that I gig with are just phenomenal musicians, and you know, to get to anywhere near their level. As a session musician, they're just, they're awesome. Um, the great, the beauty of it is that the band's real. So when we're out there kind of doing what we do, it's um, it's the real people behind it, not just a studio session that's been put together. It's a good feeling, good feeling. And uh, you're doing well. Uh, so just on the Paul O'Grady, when he mm. played your track, what, yeah. what, what did that do for you? Because well, that's a massive Within audience, about five it? minutes, thinking about, I, I remember looking, there was about 75, 80 plus albums went in less than five minutes. I was away at the time, I was on holiday, um, and just listened back, and it was just, yeah, what a, an, an amazing feeling. It's, you know, a sense of achievement to kind of get get out there on national radio. And, and as, as a result of that, um, a big thank you to Paul and, and Malcolm Prince for kind of supporting it, really, and things have progressed on from there. Was that is... Malcolm who gets a mention? Yeah. On, on his issue. <laughs> hey, Malcolm! Malcolm, play that's, the music, Malcolm! The man. <laughs> and who else mentions Malcolm as well? It's uh, Elaine Page mel- mentions Malcolm. Graham Norton Malcolm. as well, yeah. And Graham Norton well, well. is the man. God, he works on everyone's show, Malcolm yeah. does, doesn't he? Over the weekend. Does he have? Do you know him? What's he like, Malcolm? Only, only spoke to him, and I don't you know, think he you know, exists. No, he does. No, he exists. I, he I exists. don't think he is. <laughs> so he was pl- played on there, sold, shed loads of, of albums, which is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously after that, then you it know. continued. Um, and and you're doing well down under in Australia. <laughs> yeah, bizarrely, um, it's obviously been picked up by a radio station. I'm thinking out, out in Australia. I'm working, kind of doing gigging all over, and, and an Australian crowd um, have really, really taken to. Um, to what I'm doing, so it's quite a. That, that's the beauty of, I suppose, the music industry today. You talk about social media and 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 the just you know iTunes and kind of a global network just to kind of press play and it can be heard in Australia wherever. It's it's a great thing. Maybe from a volume point of view, people aren't selling as many records, but from a listener's point of view, it's it's a buyer's market. <laughs> well, why did you go for the big band? Style, the swing style for your music. Because, well, because I love it. Uh, I've, you know, I've grown up listening to it. Um, and for me, I worked a lot of um, charity events, corporate events for for years. It's not come overnight. I've been doing this for, oh, professionally probably maybe eight, ten years. And um, you know, a lot of the glitz and glam, all the kind of the big events, they always generally use that music. And there's a reason behind it because it just has that feel good vibe about it you know I think you, it transcends any age yeah. doesn't it i mean That's if you yeah, young or old it doesn't really matter yeah. uh, big yeah. band really works for everyone and one thing i mean you know mr Bubley did a huge thing for this for this industry and what we do because he made it modern he made it fresh um so what you're saying is you're right you've got people from any age any demographic that that love that sound but it's not just that i mean i know i've mentioned this before the one thing about a big band is you've got chemistry between people You've got people playing with each other as far as, you know, you've not just got a computer, a computerised track that's laid down and then somebody puts a vocal on the top of it and out it goes. 
you've got interaction. When we recorded the album, the one thing that I was so kind of uh, determined to do uh, with Ali was to kind of get everybody in the studio, like the Sinatra sessions, everything done back in the 50s and 60s, was to get everybody in one room feeding off each other. Um, because without going too deep into it, because I get I, I go off on one a little bit with this, but music is it's a language, it's a connection between people, and I think when you've got people um, in a room together, like you know, people always say, "Well, they sound so much better live." Hmm. It's because you've got that human interaction, and that for me is what the album's all about. Is about getting that across. See, a couple of weeks ago, I saw a great film on uh, late night BBC. Two, I think, about Joe Meek, right. the, the producer, who who was the exact opposite, and so he'd record like the drums in his bathroom. It was all done at home, yeah, yeah. and he'd, re, re, he'd he was so he was producing this this track, and the drummer would be in the bathroom or whatever. The singers would be in a cupboard, and they'd be all over the place, so they yeah. wouldn't be together. But for you and your style, still together though, still together from a recording point of view. What I'm more talking about is is from a computerized point of view, and you know a lot of you know pop tracks are all done in layers. You know, everything's kind of put through, you know, I won't go the name of the brand, but, you know, different yeah. software that's used. Um, and it's not real people playing. So you're getting it as because, close to yeah. live as, as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, nail on the head. All right. We're going to play Lovely... And we, we don't have to play Lovely lovely Day if you don't want to, but uh, it's for me, it's my... On the album, it's my favourite track. I love it. Sounds good to Do me. want to play that? Sounds great. All right, so this is a... Well, you introduce it. It's a cover of Bill Withers. Yeah, the great song, one of the best songs ever written, Skip Scarborough, Bill Withers. Um, love the day in a, in a, a big band style. <laughs> Thanks, Wes. When I wake up in the morning and the sunlight hurts my eyes And something without warning love Bears heavy on my mind Then I look at you And the world's alright with me I just one look at you and I know it's gonna be A lovely day A lovely day When the daylight lies ahead of me Seems impossible to face I went someone else instead of me Always seems to know the way Then I look at you And the world's alright with me I just want to look at you and I know it's gonna be A lovely day A lovely Isn't that 
brilliant. Uh, lead singer Paul Stone and the album is called Reprise of Swing and from it track three is Lovely Day. You can buy the album, uh, Paul's album on paulstonemusic.co.uk or by going to iTunes. Paul Stone, lead singer right here at BBC Radio.